Greetings, today is October the 2nd of 2021. Ted Brothers has cost me money again. Well, Ted Brothers and my friend Chris Reinhardt in Tupelo. Chris linked me to uh, yet another Jurassic Park custom video by the Ted Brothers channel, and it was Ian Malcolm in the jacket, which I thought looked pretty doggone neat. Uh, the recipe is simple. It's the Mattel Ian Malcolm figure. Um, I've used the first version of it here. It doesn't really matter because you're not using the arms, and I think that's the only thing distinct from the two releases. And a Hasbro... Captain Marvel Nick Fury figure. And you really only need the jacket and the sleeves uh, from this figure, so your leftover parts are going to be yet another Sam Jackson in this scale, but if you're col collecting Jurassic Park, well, you've already got Sam Jackson in this scale, so don't really need him for any customs. Ted Brothers did it one way, where they swapped out the bicep piece from one to the other, and you had to cut a post off of one figure and glue it onto the other. And I asked in the comments on the post on YouTube, I said, why didn't you just do it at the shoulders? That's what I did. I cracked the torso open and swapped out the entire shoulder. If you had put the Ian Malcolm arms into the Nick Fury torso, it would not have worked. But the reverse did work, and the posts on these Hasbro arms for Nick Fury did fit into the torso of the Mattel uh, Ian Malcolm figure there. Sorry, Jeff Goldblum, for dropping you right in the middle of the take. Also, recently, same sort of situation here. I've done all the characters in the 4-inch scale for the... I think this was Gennaro. I think this was too. ...scene from Jurassic Park. And that involves cracking open the torsos on Dennis Nedry for his jacket and sleeves and Robert Muldoon. Ellie Sattler for her body and head, but the jacket and sleeves of one of the player figures from the Jurassic World films. A little more damage to the figures than what I wanted there to be. And also, I had previously done the Jeep for Muldoon uh, using the Nedry Jeep and these little uh, toolboxes. I think that's yet another Ted Brothers recipe that uh, Chris had told me about. Pretty much anytime he's gonna say, hey, did you see this latest Ted Brothers video? I'm just gonna scream, no, I did not. It's not why I grabbed, grabbed the knife. I grabbed the knife to open this. So, got this little package in the mail today. And this is from Mattel Creations. If I'm remembering correctly, this too is a Jurassic Park item. Or two. So, all right, there's one. Here's to Utta. What happens to Ray Arnold in his final scene, it asks, on the back of this box. And I don't know if there's a flap that will easily open to show this, or if I'm going to have to cut one of these bad boys open on camera. So let's cut one of these bad boys open on camera, it looks like. That was unexpected. Three minutes, I can have power back on the entire park. <laughs> Hold on to your butts. <laughs> so you get an action figure, you get a Velociraptor. I don't like that particular pose on Raptors, but I keep having to buy it. And you've got the uh, plastic cabinet back there for this scene. So pretty neat little set. Very pleased with that purchase. And to get it directly from Mattel, um, Shipped from a back order, according to the invoice here, and something else fell on the floor. Looks like that's just the instructions and the battery information and all like that. And you got the other piece of paper that fell out was the uh, umpteen different languages of the battery safety information pack-in. So, you've got the... Theoretically, yes, but we've never shut down the entire system before. It may not come back on at all. So you've got the... Ray Arnold final scene set. I actually ordered two of those. All right, I, I really like that. I like the fact that it's got the 
plastic pieces uh, of a diorama there for you. Uh, and then also some cardboard extensions of that. I was worried, judging from the photos, it looked like it might entirely be made of cardboard. So I was very happy that that was made of plastic. And thank you and also curse you, Ted Brothers and Chris, for giving me way too many ideas. Thank you for watching.